Hello there, YouTube. Uh, today, I just uh, wanted to make a brief video to discuss uh, my Neo Wilson Combat CQB and some of the options that are available on the gun. Uh, first off, I do want to uh, apologize for the poor camera quality, but it, I'm using the camera from my laptop and uh, can't really manipulate the screen too well to where you could get a good angle. But I'll just leave it here for now since I'm going to be holding the gun and going over some of the features that I decided to get. Uh, the reason I'm making this video is because uh, when I was trying to decide whether or not to take the plunge and get one of these Willisons, uh, I first came to YouTube to try to uh, check out a lot of the options. Uh, they're obviously uh, listed on Wilson's site. Uh, however, you, you can't really get a good, good idea of um, how some of them look. So that, that, that kind of posed some difficulty to me when I was trying to decide. Um, I know I see a lot of people on the forum still asking uh, what some of the options are and and you know wh whether they're for practicality or for aesthetic so I thought I'd go ahead and try to explain to the best of my ability um, you know some of the different features you could get on the gun uh, first off I will safety check the weapon there's no magazine in the weapon and as you can see there are, it's completely empty and safety checked. Um, first off, I decided to go with one of the more economical uh, models. I decided to go with the CQB. Uh, I believe it's their second most economical model. I think the only weapon that's priced lower than this is the X-TAC, which they recently uh, released. But, uh, you know, first off, I just want to say that you know the fit and finish on this gun is absolutely incredible um, if you ever owned a Wilson you would know what I'm talking about if you don't own a Wilson well you know if you were ever to purchase one or ever 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 to handle one you'd uh, quickly see what I was talking about um, everything fits really nicely together uh, the slide it it racks beautifully uh, it, it, it feels like it's uh, you know gliding on butter on the rails it's uh, it's it's pretty incredible um, but to the point some of the options that are available on not just this model but any model um, are the speed shield uh, this this option here is approximately hundred and twenty five dollars extra and um, I, I decided to go with the speed shoot because I felt uh, first off it looks pretty nice on the weapon and second of all when I'm at the range uh, I tend to always like keeping my eyes on the target and I feel like you know when I go, go like this and look try to take out the magazine you know I'm not able to do that so with the speed shoot uh, I feel like it's a little easier to drop the magazine and get another one in there um, like I said I'm not a very good shot to begin with uh, nor do I um, you know compete uh, um, with any of my weapons so yeah I mean a lot of you could probably reload better than I do but I just feel you know it's for practical purposes it, it, it does a good job uh, another option you could get on this weapon is as you see here let me try to get you a better angle if you see the barrel does not protrude past this bushing see the barrel now when I turn it sideways you can't see the barrel you only see the bushing that's basically their recessed uh, barrel option. I think this is, I want to say it's 60 or $70 to do that. Um, it doesn't really affect the accuracy. Some people say that it actually improves it. Um, I'm not going to start a debate here. I don't know whether it does or does not, but you know, I kind of just like the, the look of it. And this is pure for aesthetic purposes. Um, it's not going to help you shoot any better. It's not going to cause you to shoot any worse. So, you know, um, I'm sure you probably noticed the gold bead front sight here. Uh, Wilson, they offer, I think all their guns come standard with a fiber optic green or red sight. Initially, I had the green, but I heard a lot of people mentioning that, you know, it's, it's easy for the sight, you know, to break. And basically, I'm, you know, I can't afford to get one of these guns every year you know I invested in this one and I'm probably gonna have this gun for a long long time uh, which I have no problem with at all 
um, especially since Wilson has a lifetime guarantee on their weapons. So I, I wanted to go ahead and get the gold bead front sight um, with this uh, rear U-notch battle sight. Uh, it's going to be kind of hard for me to do it backwards here in this low light. But um, it's really easy to acquire this sight uh, at the range, even in low light conditions. And uh, if you're shooting outdoors when it's spray, uh, it really does uh, show up good uh, with the with the sunlight. And it's it's very durable. Um, it's real gold, so you know gold's not gonna fade like brass. So uh, I feel that uh, you know it was the best choice for me uh, personally. Uh, I went ahead and went with a naked slide option. I didn't want any um, any logos on my slide. The only thing I did get is here on the dust cover of the weapon uh, right here yeah I, I decided to go ahead and get uh, Wilson combat written on there um, the other option I got I went ahead and got a, a flush cut slide stop if you see there you see they make a cut and uh, that gives you the flush cut uh, another another aesthetic uh, decision on my behalf uh, my dad's Kimber, he had to, you know, where it's not flush cut, so it basically protrudes. And I personally just like the flush uh, finish on on my firearms. That's why I went ahead and got the barrel flush cut and uh, went ahead and got this. This was uh, $50 to do. Um, probably, you know, wasn't worth $50, but by that time the, the invoice was already climbing up there, so I figured, what's another 50 bucks? So I went ahead and did that. And um, again, the the gun is finished in, in black armor tough. It's held up pretty uh, pretty well. I've fired roughly I, I think a thousand rounds so far, and uh, you know there's no noticeable marks. Um, there's some markings here up here, but I guess that's from the brass uh, ejecting and making contact with this. But again, it's barely noticeable. You won't you probably won't even be able to see the small nicks. Uh, the final option that I went with on this gun. Um, was it's they call it a heavy machine chamfer and it's really it's I don't know if it's discernible over this this camera but basically the bottom of the slide here is cut kind of at a slant rather than a 90 degree uh, rather than the normal flat uh, that it's cut at so normally this will be completely flat and go right onto the dust cover here but what happens is it's kind of slanted and it gives it a it gives it kind of a, I guess, a cool look. Um, that was like a $70 option, but, um, you know, I just, I kind of got sold on it, so I went ahead and went with that. Um, this gun has the their new uh, G10 grips on it. Uh, it feels really good in the hand. Um, I don't know. I like it. I like the grips. They have a, a bunch of other grips that are pretty nice. And, uh... Um, that's pretty much all I could think of as far as uh, options that I went with on this weapon. Um, but if you are deciding on getting a Wilson, um, you know, I, I highly recommend it. It's an awesome gun. Like I mentioned, I'm not that good a shot, but at the range, uh, a lot of people have been complimenting me on my abilities, which, you know, I tell them flat out, I'm like, look, I'm not a very good shot. It's just a very accurate gun. And, uh, you know, I mean, if, if you have, you know, if you have the financial means of owning a Wilson, I will tell you to go for it. And, you know, I could tell you that it's going to last you a long time and you're not going to regret your decision. Uh, the only thing is if once you buy one, you'll probably want another one. So you're going to have to kind of resist that temptation. But I, I hope I was uh, a bit of a help help to you if you're looking at Wilson's and just having some difficulty understanding some of the options. Um, hopefully this will give you some good insight. I, I told you about the speed shoot, uh, the recessed barrel, the gold gold bead uh, front sight, flush cut slide stop, and a heavy machine chamfer on the bottom of the slide. Um, other than that, it's a really good gun. Uh, now, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's pretty much all I could say about it. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it uh, insightful. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment.